Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen's and today I'm taking a look at this fragrance right here, Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. Did a first impression on this one a little while back and now it's time for the full review. It is kind of odd that this one came out when it did because we're basically at the end of summer heading right into fall and with a fragrance named Glacial Essence, you can probably tell what season this is best in. Still yet though, I've given this a lot of wear, both indoors and outdoors, and in some really high heat situations, some high humidity situations, some air conditioned situations, you know, the whole gamut. So now I'm gonna break this one down for you guys in a little more detail than I did in my first impression. We'll also check out the presentation, like always, and I'll let you guys know whether I think this is one you should check out or not. So let's jump into it. First off, let's check out this presentation. It is your typical Bulgari Man presentation, both with the box and the bottle, just a different coloration. So you've got here on the front, the name of the house, name of the fragrance, the size and concentration. This one is a 100 ml Eau de Parfum. You have nothing on the top, nothing on the sides. On the back, you have your ingredients. And on the bottom, you will find your badge code and barcode. Badge code of this one is 20K41D2. And here is the bottle. And I've got to say, I actually like this coloration. At the top, you have just a kind of a matte white looking coloration. And then the bottle has a gradient where it's a darker blue at the bottom, goes up to clear at the top, really gets across that whole icy freshness that they're trying to kind of portray with this fragrance. Your atomizer is at the top. And like all of the Bulgari Man fragrances, you can turn it like that in order to lock it and then turn it back to spray it again. On the bottom, you have your sticker with your batch code. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys right here. There we go, not too bad. Okay, let's talk about the fragrance here. Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. Obviously this is a summertime fragrance. It's right there in the name, Glacial Essence. This is supposed to be an icy, fresh type of scent. Actually in the write up for this fragrance, they mention that it should come across crystallized a number of times. So they're really trying to, to push that, that whole icy freshness. When I first spray this one on, it is really refreshing. It's brisk. It does give kind of an icy feeling to it. I get a bunch of juniper, a bunch of ginger. I also get musk right away. And it's kind of a clean musk. To me, it smells a little bit soapy. And there's some sweetness in the fragrance that kind of just floats off your skin. Now, when I say it's soapy, I don't mean that it comes across like a hardcore bar of soap. I don't mean that it smells like Prada Loam or Prada Loam Low or something like that. It's just this light, clean, sort of soapy vibe that I pick up, especially off the top, but it's there throughout. For some people, I think the opening is gonna be a little too sharp. At times, depending on when I've sprayed it on, where I've been, it's come across, uh, maybe a little too synthetic for my liking, and it has kind of an alcohol blast if you smell it right after you spray it on. A number of fragrances in the designer realm do have that kind of aspect where you spray it, and if you smell it within you know, 10, 15 seconds, it's got kind of an alcohol feeling. Others don't, uh, but for me, this one definitely does. As this one settles in, that soapiness starts to feel kind of airy, just like this light, clean soapiness again, just kind of wafting off your skin and I pick up a good amount of geranium so that kind of starts to overtake the juniper and ginger a little bit even though those are the three top notes juniper ginger geranium the geranium comes out more as it starts to settle and there's also kind of a green undertone to that geranium and for me I'm guessing that's supposed to be the artemisia in the mid and this one's pretty consistent through the mid uh, once it settles down once that kind of icy opening settles a little bit it stays pretty consistent through the mid there's not a whole lot of change there's not you know nuances of this and that and this and that it's it's pretty much the same through the mid and once it's the dry down for me it's mainly musk that clean musk from uh, the opening and clear wood and in case you're unaware of what clear wood is it's derived from patchouli only it has had any semblance of earthiness or dirtiness completely stripped away and it's been softened up a bit. In the dry down, it's still slightly sweet. It's very, very inoffensive. And for me, still 
little bit synthetic. It actually reminds me at times of maybe like a, a clothing spray or Febreze or something like that. Not that it smells exactly like a type of Febreze, it's just the type of scent that it is in the dry down that's kind of what it reminds me of, which is maybe not the most positive thing on earth. And again, that could just be me. That could just be something that I'm picking up that most people out there will not pick up. But to me, that's kind of the vibe that it gives me in the dry down. Now I will say that in the opening, the first 10 minutes or so, I've had multiple positive comments about this fragrance. My wife on more than one occasion said, that smells nice, what you just sprayed on, and her friends as well. So in that initial, initial opening, once it settles down just a little bit, you know, basically a minute to 10 to 15 minutes in, that really small time frame, uh, it smells really nice to most people. After that though, once it settles into the mid, and especially the dry down, uh, it's not really that impressive for me. I don't think it's, I don't really think it's all that good. I would say kind of just off the top of my head that it's the least impressive in the Bulgari Man line. And that includes the original and all the flankers. So I think that this would be the last one that I would pick. If it was like a, you know, a kickball or dodgeball match and you're having to select Bulgari Man fragrances, this one would be the last one standing, the last one picked rather. So that's kind of kind of sad a little bit. Bottle wise though, I like it. So yeah, I would take Man in Black, the original Man. I would take um, Black Cologne, Black Orient, uh, Wood Essence, Wood Neroli, all of those over this one. Now let's talk about occasions that you would wear this, the performance, all that stuff. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is a summertime fragrance. So summertime, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, you could wear it in spring as well, but for the most part, for me, it would be relegated to summer and it's a daytime fragrance. It's not one I would wear at night. As far as situations, casual wear and um, it'd be safe office fragrance, but not something I would wear formally, not something I'd wear on a night out, not something I'd wear on a date. So pretty much just casual wear, daytime wear and to the office. Now, that being said, this is not a fragrance for me that's gonna last through a work day. It's really not a very good performer. And I've worn this one, like I said, indoors in air conditioned situations, outdoors when it was hot, when it was humid, outdoors when it was in the high 70s Fahrenheit. Uh, so kind of a smorgasbord of different situations. And it's, it's not been good in terms of performance. Yeah, longevity here, four hours, somewhere right around there and projection best in the first 30 minutes. After that, it's, it's pretty close to the skin. And there are some fragrances where you might say, you know, four hours of longevity, but what you're really saying is four hours of where you can pick it up pretty well. And then after that, it's sitting close to the skin. With this one, when I say four hours, I mean four hours and it's gone. Now, I have seen some people say that they get better performance with this one, uh, but for me, that's just not the case. It's not worked out very well for me. So yeah. Performance for me, below average, pretty much across the board. And that's not really a surprise in terms of the performance because it is, again, a summer fragrance. It's glacial essence, supposed to smell very brisk and icy. So I would be surprised if it did have great performance. And let's also talk about the pricing. As it stands right now, this is $113 US. And that's retail pricing because this is, as of this video, a new fragrance, which means you're not gonna find it at discounters yet. I highly suggest that you wait to pick this up. Wait until it hits discounters. $113 is way too much for what you're getting here. Again, this does not smell bad. It doesn't smell offensive, but the performance is not great. The dry down is not memorable and for 113 bucks you can get a lot better even if we're talking at retail you can find fragrances much better than this one and if we're talking discounters you could load yourself down with probably three fragrances in the 35 dollars range that are going to give you much better performance much more originality and more situations to use those fragrances in 
than you'll get from this bottle right here. So for me, overall, Glacial Essence at 113 bucks, really hard pass. That's what I paid for it, and I wish I didn't. At discounters, I would think, you know, 30, 35 bucks, maybe somewhere in there. I wouldn't really wanna to pay too much more than that because I think you can get a lot better, so yeah. But if you do collect the Bulgari Man line or something, at least the bottle looks pretty nice and it'll look good next to the other ones. So there we go, Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. It's not that I hate the fragrance, it's just that it's really underwhelming. If you have smelled this fragrance, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today, thanks for all your support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. Stay safe out there.